I hate the heat. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Anissa and I post a little bit of everything. So uh, you should check that out. I mean, like obviously when you're done watching this one, but uh, yeah. Today I'm back with another Pinterest recreation. And if you haven't seen the other one, I'll link it down below so you can watch that one after watching this one. It's a lot of fun recreating Pinterest pictures and stuff I find. And the reason I do it is because when I'm on Pinterest looking for the next fashion look or fall fashion 2021, because we're still in summer, I'm trying to get an idea of how I should rearrange my closet for fall or the next trend and how I should jump on it now. I'm presented with a lot of skinny. I know or I know there's plus size people that are trending. Like I go on, I'm, I'm part of the plus size community on Instagram and many of us are part of the trends where we're keeping up with the current trends and we're posting the fashion summer crop top trends and whatever type of, you know, new short type of trends and whatever. And if I'm trying to get ahead or see what else is out there, and I go on Pinterest, I don't see it. I see a lot of skinny in it. And, and a lot of boards say to wear once I'm skinny. And it's like, well, you could probably wear that now. A lot of the stuff that I see, I'm like, what's holding you back? Is it literally just your weight because society told you you can't wear that? Or is it literally because it's ugly? <laughs> because a lot of times that we, what we find is pretty and fashionable on a skinny person is really only pretty because they're skinny and they have the skinny privilege. In many cases, if anyone else tries to wear that, even if you are skinny but shaped differently, it's ugly and it's not cute. It's just literally not fashion. It's just thrown together. So it's definitely like a fun thing just to do. And I always like to play around. I'll see something on Pinterest. I'm like, let me put that on. And I'll put it on because I have the clothes. And I'm like, yeah, no, it's not fashion. It's not cute. I'll put it on. I'm like, this is rocking. Why don't I see more plus size girls on Pinterest wearing it? So it's definitely something that I like to recreate, especially seeing how many boards there are on Pinterest, I say, for when I'm skinny. And they're just filled with just like outfits of just really skinny girls wearing outfits that I'm like, I wear that all the time. Or like, I could definitely wear that. Or things like that. And I just think it's just fun. And especially things where I'm like, I didn't even think about putting that together. Let me see if that's cute. And I put it on and I'm like, my new favorite outfit. So it's definitely a lot of fun and it's definitely something I like to do. And it's just, it makes me feel better as well when I'm going through Pinterest and I'm like, wow, it's only skinny people. Why is my board only filled with skinny people? And it feels good to go back and be like, you know what? I recreated this look and I'm plus size. I'm a size 20. I'm a 42 double D on top. So I am plus size. I am um, hourglass shaped if we are still doing shapes. I know a lot of people say we shouldn't do shapes anymore. A lot of people like the idea of shapes because a size 20 can come in many different shapes. So it's definitely up to you um, what you want to consider or whatever, but I'm a size 20. I range between 18 and 20 right now. I'm like strictly a 20. Um, I'm not really balancing between 22 or 18. I'm just 20, at, like just at 20. So I don't know if that helps you at all while watching this or if it makes you like think otherwise. Um, I'm actually gonna be recreating three in this video. My last one I did two. This one I'm doing three. Just I think these are really cute for both right now in uh, summer. I live in SoCal, so I feel like year round is summer. I always try to dress for fall, but my fall outfits always fall short of just feeling like summer outfits still. So I try to like incorporate jeans while still feeling loose and cozy for for fall. So then I don't feel like I'm dying of heat stroke in the fall. So I'm gonna show you the three pictures. Boom, boom, pow, cover my face, here we go. Each one of these I would definitely wear now. You can pair them with cardigans, take off the cardigan, wear it differently. One of them is long sleeves, so you could definitely wear that with shorts instead of jeans. I'm gonna wear jeans because I think it'd be really cute just to wear it with in fall but you can definitely wear it with jeans now. I mean, with shorts now. Also, a lot of the stuff is gonna be obviously like recreated like with the same pieces. Like two of them are a white t-shirt. One of them, I can wear that cardigan opened over the white t-shirt. So again, this is really a versatile look where you only need a couple pieces and you can just recreate like three different looks, four looks, however many looks you want with just a few pieces. And I find that really fun too. I, I love the idea of having um, looks in your art, uh, pieces of, of clothing in your arsenal to create multiple looks where you don't need to have like 
a million pieces of clothes and you're only gonna wear things once. I love the idea of having a million, of like a couple of things and you can wear them a million different ways. It's definitely a lot of fun. It's a lot better for your closet, a lot better for your budget. And a lot of stuff I get, I get from Torrid or Shein. I know a lot of people don't like Shein, um, but it's just budget friendly. It's just like, like this top I'm wearing right now, I'm gonna wear for the, uh, for the two looks. I think I got this for like five bucks off Shein. It's literally perfect, it's cropped. Um, I don't have an issue with it, I love it. It's perfect for just literally really hot days like this. It's like 90 degrees outside, my room is hot. I turn off my fan because I have my fan on, you can hear it, and it's really loud in the back. So it's hot and it just feels great just to wear some really loose clothing. Um, I found some really great pieces on Shein that are like really cheap, I don't have an issue. Um, I have some Shein hauls I'll link down below too so if you ever like if you're really like on the fence about Shein you're like are the clothes really that good whatever I have honest review Shein hauls I'll link them down below as well so other than that let's just get in the video and have me stop rambling okay so this was the first look this is the picture I don't have a white top but I have this which is very similar it's like a cardigan type top they can just wear it by itself I put on a necklace like she was wearing I think it definitely works because like a v-neck so you definitely need some type of like necklace or something here this is actually a crop top so it's actually kind of short so like you don't need to tuck it in I tucked it in though because she has hers tucked in hers is obviously way longer I don't know where she got hers super cute though I wish I had a longer one because I think it'd be super cute to like wear it tucked in better this is definitely not tucked in right um I don't think her jeans have rips in them but like all of my jeans have rips in them I thought I had normal jeans that didn't have rips in them but I guess I was wrong and then you can't see her shoes but I decided to throw on some little like sandals slides because again I live in SoCal it's hot I mean, you could definitely pair this with like Converse or something. I think this would be super flipping cute with Converse, but I would probably wear it since it's already hot with like some sandals, which is actually kind of weird looking, but like it's so cal and you'll see it, especially in the fall. You'll see people trying to dress fall, then they're like, don't look at my shoes because they're still wearing flip flops with Birkenstocks. So like, that's it. But this is super cute. I definitely think this is fashion. Definitely can wear it, be worn. You don't have to wear it tucked in. This hat looks not tucked in. You could definitely get some weight, like higher waisted jeans if you can find this. Not cropped. Definitely works too. Has the super bulky arms. I like to wear this around the house too because this is super cute. I got this from Shan, I believe. Or no, did I get some Forever 21? I think I got this from Forever 21 a while ago. But super cute. I like this fit. So I give this 10 out of 10. I definitely love it. I would definitely wear it especially if it's raining, but like, it's like the forecast says it's gonna rain, but it's gonna be, it's gonna stop raining later. I'm like, I'll wear this. <laughs> That's SoCal for you. So yeah, if you ever visit SoCal, this is it. Yeah, this is it. So this is the first look. I'm gonna move on to the next look. I'll see you in the next look. Okay, so here's the next look and here's how I'm wearing it. I have my black Converse on. Um, I think this would definitely be cuter if I had higher waisted jeans just to make me feel more comfortable and I throw on a sports bra underneath because I am bigger chested so it creates this to then become way more cropped and then I push out if you saw that earlier so I throw on a sports bra just to like make me feel comfortable but I do like I don't have an issue with it this is definitely like a more laid back look so it's still super cute and then this is the cardigan I was wearing from the last one that you could literally wear with or without it. You can wear it like this. I think this is super cute too, just to wear around your like, your backside like this. Cause then it's all like scrunched at your arms. You got your necklace. If you have like a bag or some sort, like a handbag, like a little handbag or whatever, hand purse. Go out places. Um, but yeah, I would definitely prefer like a more higher waisted jean with probably like more buttons. I think that'd be a lot cuter. This, these are the same jeans from the last one. Um, I definitely like would prefer a belt with it just because these are falling a little bit yeah but I mean I don't mind it I think it's super cute and my sports bra really shows underneath it but, like I really don't care it's like a super comfortable sports bra this is like a super laid-back comfortable look like I'd wear this to like the movies you know or like if I was gonna go like walk around downtown or something this would be something I'd wear just because like I'm just gonna go walk around like super 
casual. This is great for like, if it's kind of warm, but you know the nights get really cold and you're gonna be out all day, throw this down at night. It's perfect. You could button it up. If you're starting to feel like really cold and comfortable, whatever. But I think this is super cute. And if you feel uncomfortable with the whole crop top idea, just wear a white muscle tee that's like actually tucks down into your shirt. I think that'd be super cute. Um, I have some white muscle tees. I think they need to be washed up. Yeah, they're in the hamper. They need to be washed. But that would be totally cute. So if you don't want the crop look, you can do that. Or a normal bra then, so you don't have this. That's just my preference. I don't care. This is the look. I really like this one. I think personally, yeah, for me, I would definitely wear like my white muzzle tee instead. So it, it I can tuck it in and I'd probably wear like a high-waisted pant or just a belt with it. Like my black Gucci belt that I have. Gucci, but it's like the knockoff Amazon one I have. But yeah, I think this is a look. I think it's definitely cute. And then with the Converse again, super cute. So yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So here is the third and final look. Here's my recreation. My pants have a little red in it. If you can see that. A little bit of red in it. Uh, hers are just black and white, but mine are super close to it. Um, again, this is another one that looked totally fine in like a white muscle tee that like like white normal size muscle tee rather than cropped. Black would either be fine, even be fine. I don't have a gray cardigan, but I definitely think this works too. You wear this with um, Converse. I think it's super cute. You can definitely take this off. No, not wear a cardigan at all. And then like wear it with um, sandals. It would be super cute as well. I really like this one too. I mean, I think the cropped one, the crop look is super cute and she wears it really well. I think if you wore a black top, you should have like a white or like beige kind of cardigan or a gray one like she has, but I don't have a gray cardigan. So I have a white top with a black cardigan. I think it's super cute. Definitely great for fall. I'll be wearing it, who cares? So, and then I throw on my normal bra for it just cause I feel like this one's a little bit like dressed up a little bit. Like this would be one like all with friends um, to hang out. So I wouldn't want to be wearing a sports bra with it. Cause why not? Yeah, again, I got this top and then these pants from Shein. So like, again, they're pretty cheap and these pants fit really well for being from Shein. I love them. So like, perfect but yeah so that's the end of this one i think these were all great and i love them all definitely like i found these all on the uh to wear when i'm skinny pages and i'm like why these are all great you can definitely wear them now and you can even fix them or change them in a way where you can wear them now so you don't have to wait till you're skinny and stuff if you don't feel comfortable wearing crop tops don't wear it cropped then that's on you like that's totally up to you you don't that doesn't matter I mean, I recently started wearing crop tops because like, who cares? Those pages make me really sad because a lot of it, I'm like, that's just a sweater and shorts. I wear sweaters and shorts, so it doesn't matter. So this is definitely a fun look. I really like recreating these. If you have any more ideas, if you see any where you're like, hey, can you recreate this? Definitely can. You can always shoot those over on my um, Instagram or TikTok. Both are linked down below. So don't, don't be scared to like, be like, hey, I've been looking at this, but I'm really scared to recreate it. Can you like figure out a way to, re to recreate it or whatever? I definitely can try and fix it, figure it out. It's a lot of fun for me. So I'm all out of breath because these are really hot. And again, I said it's like 90 degrees and my house is warm. I don't do well in heat at all. I've lived here my whole life. <sighs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and please make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.